Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make natural flowy parts in Unity using the class component. First, convert your FBX file to a Zepeto style file. Click on the exported file and then add a class component to it. Double click into the item and click the class constraint button under the cloth tab. You will be selecting vertexes to identify where your flowy elements should be. Sepeta clothing are small objects, making it very difficult to paint properly. To solve this, you will need to temporarily change the scale of the item. In this case, I changed it to 100x. Now, when you go back to the Edit Constraints section, you will see tiny dots representing the vertex of the object. And now step 3, we can finally start painting the vertexes. variations of the same design, it can be tiring to repaint each of them. You can simply copy it from the complete one. To do so, select the painted file, go to the menus tab and select copy components. And now you can simply copy it over to all the other designs. The class component also has its limits. It doesn't function the same as adding swing bones to the component. It deforms objects. It reads all the surfaces as soft fabric. To fix it, you will need to use the swing bone method. It's disintegrate objects that are not connected, like this chain. To fix it, I would import it back into a 3D program such as Maya and try to connect all the components together. When I say it's separated, I mean that if I double click the faces of a chain, it is seen as one part and not connected smoothly with the rest. For chains, I usually just connect the vertexes like this. And now, when I double click the faces of the chain, it is all connected. 
here is the result of the effect on unity. It doesn't read the petal avatars as a solid object, making the cloth effect pass through the skin. It can make it look unnatural. It makes skin boundaries visible, therefore not approved by the petal. I have seen people solve the issue, but I don't know the solution yet. If you do know how to fix it, please do share your knowledge with us. I'd really, really appreciate it. This is an end to the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this information very useful. I'll see you next time. Bye!